It's kind of miserable outside. I have to do something in here today. Board game, maybe? Yes! What better game to play on a rainy day than Monopoly? Monopoly. But not any kind of Monopoly, it is a, the Jurassic Park Monopoly, new from Hasbro or Hasbro Gaming. Uh, this is probably the first thing that I've seen that Hasbro released since they lost the license to Mattel over Jurassic merch. So this is interesting to see them uh, chuck this one out and uh, I've never been a fan of Monopoly, mainly because it's such a boring game um, but uh, I do like the theming on this one I never got the Jurassic World one that they released um, I was never really a fan of the Jurassic World one anyway but the Jurassic Park one has more of an appeal to me um, mainly because of that cool gate thing but we'll get into that in a bit uh, so we'll have a quick look around the box and then we'll get inside the box so on the front of the box you've got the Monopoly logo uh, you've got straight away a giant T-Rex head there that's staring down at what I guess is Alan Grant. Um, you've got a Jurassic Park set of gates there that are open. And you've got sleep that looks like Owen Grady there and some kind of sexy looking lady in the background. There is a try me feature um, and a little hole here and you could just about make out the uh, Jurassic Park logo there which I presume is on the gates. And if we give this a little press... <laughs> Same thing again. Okay, we've got a T-Rex. Different T-Rex. Oh. Another nice T-Rex roar. And I think that's all the roaring or different sounds that you get. Uh, on the side of the box there, you've just got the Monopoly logo and the Jurassic Park logo. And on the other side, it's the same thing. On the back, we've got a breakdown of what you get. So in the set, amongst all the other goodies, like the gates and the cards, you also get a selection of figures. So you get a T-Rex, Alan Grant with the flair, Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sattler, John Hammond, uh, Lex and Tim, I've almost forgot their names. That is pretty awful of me. Build fences and hope the T-Rex doesn't destroy them. So that must be part of the, uh, the game there, but we'll get into it. Looks like there's some cash as well that's in uh, Jurassic Park uh, Lyra. <laughs> I think that's about it. So uh, let's just crack this open now and see what's inside. Just to say, as soon as you open this thing up, you're greeted with a nice image again there of the T-Rex, the Jurassic Park logo, the Monopoly logo, someone who looks like Alan Grab, but they obviously didn't get the likeness. And you've got these cute little tiny Jurassic Park gates, which are very nice. I'm liking those. In fact, I probably would just buy it for those gates. Um, but we'll have a closer look at that when we get this fully out of the packaging. So I have everything set up now. This is probably the first time I've actually ever really messed with a Monopoly game for real, so you'll have to bear with me here. But I have got an instructional pamphlet here about how to play the game. So there is a little bit of bump at the bottom here that tells you the aim of the game, which is race around an island theme park securing dinosaur paddocks and other key areas as a T-Rex runs amok. Build fences to protect the paddocks from attack and earn money by charging other players rent. But beware, if you hear the roar of a dinosaur when you activate the park's gate, it could prove costly. The last player with the money, when all other players have gone bankrupt, wins. Stay alert though, the game also ends if the T-Rex damages all the properties before they can be protected with the fences or be repaired. Then all players lose. Okay. 
So inside it does give you a breakdown of how to set the game up and what's included in the set. So we'll run through a couple of these things. Um, so what we've got first is probably the, uh, the figures. Um, so we'll get a closer look at those and then some of the cards and the details on the board as well. We'll have to look at those because there's some interesting uh, images here that are collabed from Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, uh, I think the Lost World and even Jurassic Park 3. I can even see a, a raptor there from Jurassic Park 3. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get a little bit closer to this thing. So getting a close up look at these figures here, let's start with uh, the main man, John Hammond. And uh, if I can get a, a little bit of a, a wee look there, you can see he's absolutely tiny against my giant human fingers. And uh, there is some detail there, it's, it's minor. But uh, you can see his cane, and uh, maybe if I zoom in even more, you can just about make out his face. Very nice. And look at the state of my nails. Um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, up next, we've got Alan uh, with his flair. And again, he, uh, he has like a bit of detail there. You can see on his shirt. And I think you can just about make out the neckerchief as well and the flare there as well. I can just about make out his belt. Um, yeah, not bad. Is there anything on the bottom? No, nothing on the bottom. And next you've got Ellie. Ellie again there. You can see her shirt and the shorts. Um, and that classic pose. And her hair as well. Very nice. This thing's so small, there is quite a bit of detail there. And you've got Tim. Little Timmy carrying his book there again with a little neckerchief, shorts. Yeah, very, very nice. And you've got Ian. Uh, Ian, not so good. You can't really make out his face. It looks just one big sort of blob where his glasses should be. I don't know if that's a defect or what, but hmm. Um, but yeah, yeah, in a very sort of heroic stance there as well. Hero pose. Hmm. And you've also got Lex. Lex looks good. Yeah. Let's see a ponytail. Very nice. And last but not least, you've got this darkened T Rex. It's like a dark steel finish compared to the others. Nice detail. Again, for something so small. There is quite a bit of detail. Uh, nothing on the bottom. But, uh, yeah, you could just about make out some of the features there. You've got the teeth, but it's a bit of a weird sort of uh, cast where you can see the teeth actually carry on from one side of the uh, the inside of the mouth to the other. Hmm. But other than that, I mean, yeah, it's pretty pretty nice for a uh, little figure for the set, I guess. And while we're here. Um, I'll just put these to the side. You can make out the gates. Now the gates are quite tiny. Um, they fit into my cubid size hand quite nicely. Uh, the gates themselves don't move, don't open. Uh, the Jurassic Park logo there is uh, slightly raised because it is also acting as a button. And you've got these uh, orange solid plastic, well this one's more like rubber, at the top. Um, flames where these are painted on uh, solid pieces with uh, some stippling uh, to mimic stone and that sort of just stops there as you get to the side and on the back you've got it again but uh, lots of screw holes but we're familiar with screw holes aren't we So if we work our way around the board and we get to see the different panels as we go around, uh, I won't uh, stop on all of them, but I'll just uh, I'll stop if some stand out that are pretty cool. So we've got the go sign here, but uh, I'm going to go against the rules and I'm going to go this way uh, because um, I'm a maverick. Uh, you've got the T-Rex there, you've got a raptor looking through the kitchen, I've got another T-Rex there. You've got um, what looks like a T-Rex footprint with a puddle with a butterfly effect there. Uh, East Service Road, never seen that sign before, interesting. And like I said, there's a JP3 Raptor there. 
Uh, you got the cryogenic storage for the embryos. Another Raptor. Another Raptor. Uh, let's go around this way. You've got to go to jail. No thanks, I like it uh, outside of jail. Uh, Gallimimus. The um, push to close button in the maintenance shed. Gallimimus again. Base. Another Gallimimus. A main tour road. Never seen that sign before. Whoa, that's a pretty cool Dilophosaur. I like that. That's nice. I like that. Nice detail. No Dilophosaur. Looking all timid. Oh. An impact trimmer. Another T Rex. And another Dilophosaur. They like the Dilophosaurs. Free parking. Oh, well, I should think so with the uh, 10000 a day price for the admission to Jurassic Park. A pro. <laughs> Gonna get this wrong now. <clears throat> pro Sarah. Pro. That dinosaur. Uh, you've got another cold storage. Another one of those. You've got the West Service Road. Again, another sign I'm not familiar with. Uh, Triceratops. Bibi Triceratops. Uh, you've got the control room which might be either Ray Arnold's, I'd say it is Ray Arnold's, not uh, Dennis Nedry's, there's, there's not enough mess there to say that's the slobs table. Uh, Triceratops again, and that is Jail. After Jail, you've got a couple of parasaurus officers, and another impact tremor, another para, and a alternative tour road, oh. A cryo can, which is uh, called a security breach here, and uh, just underneath these guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, you got a brachiosaur, another cold storage, and then finally ending with another brachiosaur. I'm sorry, guys, you're in the way. And also in the set, you do get a set of dice or die. Uh, you get a normal, boring white one, but you also get a amber-coloured dice, which is pretty cool. And of course, everyone likes money, no more than me. Uh, so there are quite a few of these Jurassic Park Monopoly monies. There's nothing on the back there, but you do get a uh, nice Jurassic logo, Jurassic Park in the corner. And this is a number one. I guess the colors go up in value as well. So if we just check out another one there, there is a 20 and a 500. Whoa, I'm rich. 500 Jurassics, please. And as you're going along, you do get the fences that you can buy to protect your investments. Uh, these are on a press out sheet that you would then uh, fold slightly in half to put around your properties as you're building up your rep as you play the game. You also get these cards. These are the cold storage cards. So if I just pull one out at random. Cold storage, activate the gate, hear music, advance to go, collect 200, I guess that's 200 Jurassics, hear a roar, roll the amber die and move the T-Rex back to the correct amount of spaces. So uh, let's see what happens actually, if I do press this now, what, what would happen? <laughs> so that means that I uh, automatically get 200 Jurassics please. Um, well, no one else is watching, so I'm just going to take um, all of this. This is this is now mine. This is mine. And on this side of the table, you've got the Impact Tremor cards. And uh, this one here says, keep this card secret. Oh, sure. oh no. I shouldn't have shown you guys. Um, play at any time. Dinosaurs had their shot. Dr. Ian Malcolm. Trade any one of your properties for any one other player's properties. You may not trade properties that are part of a complete set. Oh, let's just uh, pull another one out. See if there's a quote on these. Another random one. <coughs> Impact Tremor, where's the goat? Lex Murphy. Oh, there are different quotes. Very nice. Roll the amber die and move the T-Rex forwards the correct amount of spaces. Oh, this is pretty cool. I wonder how many more there are. Just pull another one out random. Impact Tremor. The kind of control you're attempting is uh not possible. Dr. Ian Malcolm, get out of jail free. This card may be kept until needed, traded or sold. Nice. Let's see what it says on the cold storage one. See if it says any quotes on there. It does. I can see the shed from here. We can make it if we run. Dr. Ellie Sattler, advance the maintenance shed. If you pass, go. Do not collect any money. Then roll the amber die and move the T-Rex forwards the correct amount of spaces. Did I, where is the, oh, there is the, there's the maintenance shed. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my first time. Well, that's pretty cool. 
And lastly in the set there are these property investments or dinosaur investments. And uh, here's one of the cars that you would get here and the rent is four Jurassics with a rent with fence is a 10 Jurassics. Fence cost is a six Jurassic note. Um, or well, I guess it'd be a five and a one. Um, yeah, uh, Brachiosaurus cost, repair cost 30, card must be turned this side up if property is damaged. So that's how you do it if there's a uh, an issue with the fencing or if the T-Rex runs amok through that property type. Let's just pull another one out at random. Um, let's go with Triceratops. Triceratops uh, rent is uh, 24 Jurassics with a rent fence of 60 Jurassics with a fence cost of 10 Jurassics. Uh, there you go, card must be turned upside down, the property's damaged. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, very nice. I think it's pretty cool uh, for a Jurassic Park Monopoly set. Very impressed with the uh, level of detail they've gone to, uh, the quotes that are on the cards, uh, the, the Jurassic cash, and uh, just just all around, just, just the whole feel of it. It's just, it's quality, uh, the figures are awesome, the Jurassic Park gates are amazing. Just, just all around pretty great. Even the packaging itself that it came in, very impressed with that. But just as I open it up, it's just, it's just Jurassic in your face. It's all Jurassic. It's all good. Um, so yeah, I totally re recommend getting this if you're a Jurassic Park fan. Um, I'm not necessarily into Monopoly. I probably won't play this because, uh, well, you know, um, I don't really have any friends. <laughs> so I'm going to put this all away now. Thank you guys for watching, my name is Nathan Vader, I post on Instagram and Twitter almost daily, and of course it's always Jurassic related. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Yes? Yes! <laughs>